Hello and welcome back. So let's talk about Noriko's Zion. I know most people are like, oh, their wig looks ridiculous. But honestly, like I ever since I saw this color in this cut on the um, like advertising, like commercial, you know, the, the model for it, I was like, oh, I love it. But because it's such a unique color, I was like, you know, I just don't want to pay like full price for it. Every time there was an option, I was like, mm, I want to get it. I was like, mm, I don't know. So I buy a lot of my wigs at the Beauty Nook. They have an online Facebook support group, which I love. They're like my sisters. And um, they also have their own business. They have like an app. If you look up at the Beauty Nook, it's an app. Um, anyways, I get a lot of my wigs through there. She has these lives on Fridays and sometimes throughout the week. And um, they have open box sales and wigs that return. She'll sell them um, for, uh, you know, like really low price. So when this one came available, I was like, mine, 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 mine. So I got it. And this was a while ago. I haven't worn this anywhere, you guys. I want to, like, okay, so let me tell you about this piece. Um, it is Noriko. If you've heard any of my other videos, you know that, for me, Noriko wigs are very, um, like, full and itchy and, like, just cheaper feeling. Um, and so with this piece, because it is... It is a cheaper piece. It's synthetic, um, open wefted. It's only got this middle part. Um, and the ear tabs on this one feel bulky. So I will say that this piece, because I had a Noriko Taylor, and that one, I, I, I love this, the style. Um, the wig was big on my head. So that was just something else that was annoying. But, um, this, uh, but this piece actually fits better for my small head. Um, but here, when I got it, you can tell right now it's full. Like it's got, the head feels bulky from like, it feels pillowy. You guys know what I'm talking about. There's wigs that feel really close to your head. This one feels pillowy. Even the ear tabs, it's got the, um, the felt ear tabs, but even the, fear, the ear tabs feel thick against me. So, um, and it was really shiny. It still is shiny. It, I need to, I tried to be cheap, you know, and save time and not wash it and just put the, um, dry powder on it and everything, but it's still a little too shiny. I was going to wear this to work. My other hesitancy is like, you see how it just lays like this? Like it's going to get in my face. And because the ear tabs are thick and they don't stay so flush against my, my, my skin, Skin, getting it to stay behind my ears would be a problem and like with my job being a nurse and everything and I'm constantly squatting down looking down assessing people and everything I can't have hair on my face so um I haven't worn her yet and I'm not even sure where like like I'm confident in wearing wigs but then sometimes even me I'm like oh like where's the right place to wear this but I, I love it. Like, I, I really want to wear this somewhere. I just, I think she's going to need some thinning. I'm going to have to play around with these ear tabs, too. Because the ear tabs are, are thick. And I just, I can't, like, I need to be able to tuck it behind the ear. Like, you can even see. I mean, they covered it up well. So if I thin it, it's going to have to be underneath. But it's just very thick. Very thick. And so... That is my apprehensions with this wig. Um, I would also definitely put that that silicone like scar away tape underneath because look, it doesn't even look like um, scalp. So, um, yeah, those are that's how I feel about this wig. It's I don't have a um, wig cap underneath, so it's itchy. Um, so I will definitely have to wear um, like a wig grip or something underneath because. I have a sensitive scalp. So it's something you gotta keep in mind. Like Noriko for me, like Noriko wigs and Renea Paris are just more itchy on me. And so I've gotta make sure, I haven't had to wear a wig cap. As my hair grows out underneath, I'm needing wig caps more because 
my hair just gets fluffed up and then as it shifts it gets itchy and then it just gets more irritating um also i will say if you've seen this piece and as well as Nariko's tailor i want to tell you the difference is that um Nariko so tailor is a uh, inverted bob she's all one layer and she's an inverted bob and then she also has a side part um this one i will say that that tailor though the the lace front the way like it looked pretty darn good um like it just looked really good how it was like thinned out and everything i was impressed with that this piece i also had to steam this piece because it was all in my face when i first got it so it doesn't take very long if you're new um i did i posted a video somewhere about steaming a wig so if i remember i can like add it to this one um, but it wasn't hard. It was my first time doing it. I did it with a wig on my head. You just gotta be a little smart when you're not burning yourself with a steamer. But, um, yeah, so I have to, I had to get this one out of my face. But this is all, like, it's relatively one length, but it's razored edges. And so it just makes it more sleek. It's not like all one length, but it, cause it's razored. And so it's just more edgy for people like me who don't want like a mom haircut. So we get the edgy pieces. Um, I thought about actually getting a tailor and then having it razored. So it was angled and razored. I still might do that one day. Um, I have to actually wear this piece though before I buy one of those. Cause I go back and forth between I'm not wearing short hair, I wear short hair. So actually for this next assignment, I'm going to wear short hair. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Um, but let's talk about this color. This is Melted Plum. So it is, so this rooting, it's not black, but it's like a dark purple, like dark brown, not a one. I'd say maybe like a four at the lightest, but they made it like a dark purple. And of course you can see it goes to this purple and then like a ash purple kind of like melted marshmallow but with purple so same concept so it's very i love it i you know i totally want to wear this with some purple makeup um and i just don't know where like a concert maybe i want to see the weekend when the weekend comes in. So maybe this would be a good thing, good wig for that. I don't know. I need to wear it for more than one occasion. I need to just be more fun and edgy and wear it like to the pool or something with my kids. Um, but here's what the lace front looks like. So this is not, I don't know what that is. It's like a flaw. I don't know, this is not a piece I would wear off the face. I mean, the lace isn't bad. You'd have to mess around with it so it's not so stark. You can maybe put that much up. But, like, as you can see, like, the lace ends right here. So, the, like, corner of your eyebrows. So, there's not much to work around with. But it can be a very fun, sassy piece. I just think that it desperately needs to be thinned. I have to thin it at the wefts if you want to help reduce the, um to use so that's what I recommend would this fit a larger size head no it fits my head if you let the adjusters out which they're like almost all the way out for me this fits my small head perfectly so it would definitely not fit a large head and if you got a medium head it might be a little tight but if you wanted it that bad, I'd say get it wet and wear it on your head and stretch it out. That's what I would do. So anyways, here she is. So as you can see, it's just a nice edgy piece. So, okay, you guys, thanks for watching.